Welcome back to Map Gaming, my fellow digits. This is Pi here, coming to you in 1080p 60. <sighs> okay, so yeah, sorry about that. Snuffly. I'm still kind of snuffly from a cold I had over the weekend. Speaking of the cold, that's when I was writing one of the hardest papers I've ever written in my life. Yes, and the epic conclusion to the the, the epic story. conclusion. So yes, I was feeling miserable. I had a pa ten page paper due the next day. I had only like four pages done. And I'm like, oh. So fortunately, the professor had. Ooh, I have more slime balls. I'm gonna go make more leads then. So, um, fortunately, the professor had uploaded um, a video lecture, and he went over the paper so detailedly, so 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 what? So specifically, so. So full of details, with lo explaining the details. So okay. with lots of specificity. <laughs> and so, and that helped so much because um, he because he was very specific on what he wanted. So um, he says, "All right, in this section you need to write about this. In this section you need to write about this." So it's not just like a ten-page paper. I'm like, "All right, go write a ten-page paper about something about C.S. Lewis." And I'm like, "Uh," and so it was easier in that respect. So I didn't have to write an outline. He had, or he already outlined it for us. So <clears throat> um, I really need to put all this stuff away. So yes, but I kept trudging along. Fortunately, there was like four sections of the paper where you literally write about the same thing. Like, one of them was about like, how foreigners treat the concept of time. How they handle responsibility. And stuff like that. There was like four different cultural building blocks and all that fun stuff. So, um... Oh, there's my leads. Sweet. Wait, I have six leads now? Awesome. Oh, shucks. Fine, shucks. I, my weapons all uh, ran out. All of them? All of them. I, so I only... Ah, uh, this is not going to end. Oh, well. we were supposed to sleep. Oh, the sun's coming yeah, up in yeah, a second we now. So yes. Um, but yes, next morning, I got up at 8 a.m. Like, at, I went to bed at 4 a.m. The paper, I think I had eight pages by the time I went to bed. So I was making good progress, but I still... Um, but I still felt like I was like only two thirds of the way through. So there's still more content to write, even though that I already had a lot of pages. So the max was 12 pages. And so I was going along. So I went to breakfast, got up for breakfast. And so I was energized. Like, and like I woke up from my alarm and I'm like, oh, I'm tired. And I kind of fell back asleep. And I was, I kid you not, I was in the middle of a dream when I remembered. I was like, I have a paper due. I should probably get up. And I seriously woke myself up. So I was like, wow, okay, that was a miracle I woke up. And so I went to breakfast half hour later than I intended. Did I lose a sheet? Nope, there he is. And um, and I got to, so then I started working on the paper. And so I probably started finishing things up at around 10... About 11 a.m. when I was um, finally, <clears throat> when I finally was like done with the content, I just had to do, there was a conclusion, an abstract, and extra credit I had to do. And where did those sheep go? Over here? Where did these creeper craters come from, Dan? I told you I wasn't having very good luck. <laughs> so, okay, get in here, sheep. Come on. Also, I'm not having good luck uh, getting these, uh, Horses on leads. Ah. Um. There we go. Okay, so that is another four sheep. Where's the other leads? Oh, there's. No. Okay, so I lost the leads. Oh, anyway. So yes, and I had a friend that was um, oh. willing to proofread the paper for me, so I sent it off to her. Um, and I was like, oh, and it looks like Go I write my papers in Google Docs, and oh, I did lose a stinking sheep. I'll have to get you on my way back. So, and I was like, hey, it looks like Google Docs also has this comment box. Sorry, Horsey. Thing. Sorry, go back in. So go back in. Horsey, I told her in. so she could just add her comments through that. You can highlight the part that you want to make a comment. So I was like, great. And she, of course, tore the paper apart and did and found all kinds of stuff for me to correct. So I had lots of good things. By the way, for those that are just tuning in who didn't see the last episode, yes, we are moving all of these sheep 
um, to, hey, no, I need to get that other sheep. Um, <clears throat> I need one for that other sheep. So yes, I needed to get all of these sheep away from here because oftentimes I have a horrible time staying connected to servers that have more than um, like 75 entities. If it's at so 100. So basically, the single, I think you were, so basically single player world, our, the house was sitting at what, 100? 120? Oh, well, with 18 chunks, yeah, it was like at 100 with um, only like 7 chunks. But with 15 chunks, which is what I have the server set up for now, it was at 180. That's a lot. Yes, and of course it would go up at night when all the mobs start spawning. So, and it's not like, even if my computer wasn't rendering them, it would still cause the lag, so that's kind of disappointing. Um... Let's see, and so anyway, back to the paper. So, but then I also had to do a PowerPoint presentation to go along with this paper. I didn't have to present, I just had to make it because it was, you know, a summer trip. So I rushed through that as fast as I can. I had, a, I thought my 11 a.m. class was canceled if I read the song right, but I went back there that morning and I didn't see a sign saying whether or not it was canceled. So I was, uh, so I was like, oh man, I, I sure hope, but I sure hope the class is canceled because I do not have time to go to it. And so, come on, into the creeper craters, thank you, sheep. And so I, so I skipped the class, I didn't try, um, I didn't go back to check to see if it was there because it's like a two hour class and all we watch is lynda.com videos for graphic design. So um, I can do that anytime, honestly. So. Um, I uh, so so I decided to skip that class and hope that there wasn't anything and I kept doing it and then I had 3 p.m. class so I keep going I'm working on the paper uh, so at around 2 at around 3 p.m. I had the PowerPoint presentation done and I had the paper done and I sent it off to my friend and she was proofreading it so um so I got these ones oh awesome and uh, let's see. So, so I'm starting to make her corrections. I'm and so I'm going through, making sure that I finish up everything. And so I go through the checklist to make sure that I had everything done. And it says you must. So it said you must cite at least three sor sources. And I'm like, perfect. I have like seven. And um, and then he's like, and you also need to cite one source from each checkbook. Checkbook? Um, textbook? Textbook. <laughs> I was like, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> yeah, okay. I don't I don't think there's a source for I don't think you cite your checkbook. If I am correct <laughs> if I'm correct, your checkbook is for uh, you know budget, not for uh, uh, citing sources for papers. Just for <laughs> right, right, just, yeah. Just, just in case you were wondering. Okay, and um Okay, that's gonna be too hard trying to get that lead back. So anyway. Um, so I'm working as hard as I can to get this paper turned in. 3.56. I finally had gotten through all of her, or most of her suggestions. There were some that I just, um, that I just couldn't do, and so that I just didn't have time for, because they were like big corrections, like, hmm, this, ex like, this example seems unclear, is that kind of thing. And... Um, so I was like, so I turned it in at 3.56 p.m. and it was due at 4 p.m. So I'm like, thank goodness, I'm done. And I went down the halls and thought, I was like, terrific, I'm done. And I told people, oh, hey, Dan, how are you? I'm good. So, and, um, and then I come back and I was like, ow, what was that for? Huh, what? What was that for? Anyway. Nothing. <laughs> so, no, I shot it. I shot a sheep. Why'd you Why'd you shoot a sheep? I shot a sheep. That wasn't very. Have nice. you ever tried to? Sh um, I one day I I I was trying to shoot a zombie, but I shot a sheep instead. Oh. Mm-hmm. That's all right. And uh, and Sorry, then it, and story. then the wool was laying on the ground as if I had sheared the sheep when I shot the sheep. Hmm. Mm -hmm. That's pretty impressive, actually. Yeah. Oh, there's another weed right there. Okay, so um, so I came back and I, I checked to see, we had to turn it in, 
Why is there a horse in here? And so we had to turn it in to turn it in dot com for an analysis report. And like the max was pretty strict. So you could only have like a um, five ten percent similarity and I'm like and I checked it and it was like eight percent. And I'm like, ooh, that was close. So um, no sheep. I am using this water to get out. No, you bad sheep. You can't swim out. Get in the pen. Get in the pen. Good sheep. Get in the pen before I beat you to death. Come on. You're going to beat sheep to death? Yes. How, how could you? And, oh, brother. That one got beat to death. I beat oh. it up. Whoops. Okay. And I should probably make their pen bigger. Probably. There we go. Whoa, whoa. We don't want that. Okay. So, um, <clears throat> so I looked at the turn in, and it looks great. And then I also had to submit one to the online cl classroom, um, Canvas, course comments. So, and um, oops, I'm sorry, horse, but no, Ugh, stupid horse. Okay, I'm gonna have to beat you. I'm so sorry to do this, but why? Why are you gonna beat the horse? Because it got away. Okay, come on, horsey. Get a move on. Get a move on. There you go. No, get in. Get in. No, get in the print. Mm. Don't kill the horsey. Eh, the horse is fine. They they auto heal. Will you get in? Man, he's scared of me. He keeps like walking away from me. Will you get in? He's like hovering. Oh, thank you. Jeez. Okay. Hovering so, horse? Yes, he was like hovering on the edge, and it's just like he should have fell in, but he was still like on the edge. But anyway, so I checked the course comments thing and I downloaded it. And um, it has a really cool submission thing where you can submit things directly from Google Docs. So you don't even have to save it or upload it. You just click on Google Docs and it automatically pulls up your most recent documents. It's awesome. But I looked at it and I noticed it had converted the file to a docx file. So that's a Word document. I'm like, okay. So I downloaded it and opened it. And first thing I noticed is that my abstract is single spaced. I'm like, are you serious? And he's like super strict. He's like, he's like, um, he's like, now you'll lose a half a point if you screw up like the APA style now. And so he's like, the professor's like super strict on this. And so I'm like, um, okay. And um, come on, horsey, you can do it. I'm having so, the most trouble with sheep. And I look over on the side and all of the re revision comments from my proofreader were still there. Google Docs was smart enough to convert it to Word comments. And I didn't even know you could add comments in Word. So I'm like, are you serious? So all of those comments got submitted with the paper. <laughs> so nice. Bye. nice. I was nervous about it. I was like, you know, it's it was already 10 minutes past the due date. And I'm like, oh, I think I'll just leave it. I was kind of worried about it, but kind of not. And so I just left it. And I was like, well, he wanted us to have our paper. He wanted our papers to get proof read. So he's got the proof now. So proof of proof. Of proof. He, he is proof of proof. You nice. stupid things. Come on. And so and I left it. And I'm like, well, okay, I'm done with it. I'm calling it good. And I looked at the, and then next, and then next morning I woke up and I got an email from my professor. And I'm like, okay. And he says, looks like you uploaded the wrong version of your paper. It's got all of your, it's got all of your editor comments on it. He's like, please send the revised one. Thanks. And I'm like, okay, yeah, sure. I'll send it. Yeah. Right, yeah, I'll get it done. So, even though that was the correct version, he wanted me to resubmit nope. it. So I'm like, nope. well, he's expecting a revision, so I proofread it one more time. And Nice. Okay, get in there, sheep. Get in there, sheep. Good sheep. I thought I took the lead off you. Okay, come on. Get the lead off. Get the lead off. Forget it. I gotta put these horses away. So I proofread it once more, and I found a ton of things to correct. So I'm like, yes, I'm proofreading this. Uh, I'm so I'm glad I proofread it. So I got it proofread, revised it. Notice that the last paragraph of my paper was also single spaced. I cannot get the leads off these things. I there's, guess I... There, <laughs> there's. Oh, that's a. I. That's a good way to do it. I actually hadn't thought about. Wow. Thanks for. Uh, well, I tried doing the same thing earlier too and so i revised it and sent it in i'm like okay okay and i'm like now the paper's done now the paper's done can so, you uh can you push bob out of the way 
Bob. Who's Bob? The Bob the horse. No, just 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 push him. Like hop in the pen and push him. Mm -hmm. Physically, oh. just push him out of the way. Because I want my sheep to come up the one space here, which a horse can't fit through. No, if you break that, then the horse will get up. Really? Horses will get up that. Come on, go! Can I just kill Bob? No, don't kill Bob. You can oh. kill the sheep. Alright. Suppose we can kill the sheep. Sorry. Alright, or just leave it in there. Yeah, we can just leave him in there. Oops. I really need to, I really need to torch oh, no, this place. no, 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 no. There we go. I almost got the sheep out by pouring water on him and then pushing him, but then he died. He had only oh. one health left. Oops. So yes. So. And then today I got a paper. I got I got the grade for the paper back. And and, and, and people, the moral of this story is not wait till the last minute to write your paper. It's oh. that Pi has really good luck. Just just so that everyone's aware. Yeah. So I got the paper and I got a hundred and two percent on it. Uh, seriously? I could not believe it. I was like, what? People, like, I've heard things about this paper. I've heard stories from other students about that paper. So basically, <clears throat> like, I, so so what I just said about the moral of the story stands. This is not, the moral of the story is not do your paper late and you'll get 102, not like pie. No, pie the moral of the story is to leave your editorial comments on there and to get an extension to edit it. <laughs> of course. Just just wait till someone says, well, Pi told me to do this. And they're I'm like, who? <laughs> what? Because so, watch, some, someone I couldn't believe it. But then it. I looked, I looked at who graded it, and it was it was a student that graded it. I looked at the name, I looked, and I looked her up in the student portal, and she was a junior that graded it. I'm like, oh, okay. The, so the professor didn't grade it, and I looked through it, and that student found tons and tons of like spelling changes and grammar things. So like there was an extra credit portion of the paper that allows you to get like up to 106 percent. So, um. Yeah, there was a glitching Enderman over there. So yes, I conquered the paper. I still don't know how I did on the photo, on the presentation thing, but I could not believe it. I am so glad I had the paper done. That thing has been plaguing me for the last three months. So, so yeah, nice, very nice. Yes, yes, thank you. Well, I, I, guess guess, we, hmm? I guess we accomplished the thing in the midst of two episodes in a story. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, there's one sheep, one sheep left. Let's murder it. No, no, I want that blue. I want the blue. I'm, I'm going to get him. <laughs> so how many entities are there here now? Uh, uh, you're still 134, not gonna... 120, so, but we still have 15 You're also going to have a hard time telling because of uh, the increased chunk now. Right, yeah, there's like 15 chunks now. So, oh yeah, like, I was kind of nervous because the professor was like, okay, you need to have taken Rhett 205 to do this, Rhetoric 205, and I'm like, um... Yeah, there's a bunch of chickens here. We should probably move the chicken farm because there's like a good. The chicken farm is out of chunk range at four or five or however many. Yeah, chunks we have. but I still like to move around though. Okay, fine. We should. Move I mean, the if we fa oh yeah, there's a ton of chickens down here. To... So, so I think what we should just do is just collect a bunch of eggs, and then, and then use those and just make an entirely new farm. Like we can okay. still leave the farm here, um, so that it's more convenient just... to get to. We'll, we'll just, we can leave the farm there, but then uh, basically get rid of it while you're at school, and then whenever summer comes around, we can put yeah. it back. Oh, yeah. And there's, oh, and there's a ton of chickens still in the water. We're going to have to kill every one of them. We'll save that for the next episode. But, yeah. Killing chickens on the next episode. Murder the chickens. So, yeah. So ah, I creeper! Ah, well, there goes... Hey, the sheep didn't die. Really? Wow. Anyway, yes. this episode's long overdue. Uh, okay. Anyway, thank you all for watching. If you're enjoying the series, you can move on to the next episode or even subscribe to be notified of future videos. Goodbye.